Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, potential, kinetic, and mechanical energy, also known as PKM. And don't forget, please kick me or please kick, kiss me is the great way to remember this. What we're going to do is demonstrate the three types of energy. Um, if you haven't seen one of these cars before, these cars uh, roll back and um, they're spring-loaded and then they go. So I'm going to use these two cars to demonstrate potential, kinetic, and mechanical energy. Now potential energy is the energy of getting ready. Okay, So right now, these cars do have potential energy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them potential energy um, by rolling them back. Okay, So actually, I'm just going to use one car for now. So when I roll this car back, we know that if I let it go, it will uh, move forward. So it has potential energy. And when I let it go, it begins to move. When it moves, it has kinetic energy. Potential energy is get ready energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of movement. And when an object has both potential and kinetic energy, then it has mechanical energy. And mechanical energy is what allows me to use this car to move the cup. So right now, potential energy, kinetic, and mechanical. So <clears throat> let's take a look at what happens when we have differing potential energies. And I'm going to use the cars again. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to make sure everything is fair. I'm controlling my variables. My surface is the same. I've got two of the same cars. All of my cups are exactly the same, same mass same distance away from the cars. But I'm going to change one variable. The variable I'm going to change is the potential energy. And I'm going to move this car back a little bit further than this one. So that this one that I move back further has more potential energy than this one. So let's pull them back. And they're going to leave from exactly the same spot. Except the one that has less potential energy is therefore going to have less kinetic energy. So I'm going to let the one with less potential energy go first. And then you'll see the mechanical energy. Now, the one that I pulled back further, I'll let it go. Get this one out of the way. And we'll see the difference. So it actually was able to push the cup further along on the top of the table. 